America. How are ya? Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today, we are talking about George Washington's second term as our nation's president. He was unanimously elected and sworn in on March 4th, 1793, and international issues dominated his final four years in office. By then, France and England were at war. To avoid being drawn in, President Washington issued his proclamation of neutrality, declaring America's friendship for both nations. By 1794, the British had not complied with the terms of the Treaty of Paris. Rather than risk war, President Washington dispatched John Jay to England, who negotiated the Jay Treaty, which settled our differences and improved trade relations. In 1795, Washington's administration signed the Pinckney Treaty, which solved a boundary dispute with Spain and guaranteed American navigational rights on the Mississippi River. Both agreements avoided costly wars and improved our nation's commerce. After eight years in office, President Washington stepped down and peacefully transferred power to his successor, John Adams, on March 4th, 1797. So why should George Washington's time as our nation's first president matter to us today? First, he kept the United States at peace. Second, he improved our nation's economy. But most importantly, he willingly gave up the power of the presidency. That was not something that leaders of countries did in the 1700s. His action was truly revolutionary and set the precedent for other presidents to follow. Washington knew that the nation was bigger than any one man. At President Washington's funeral, Colonel Lighthorse Harry Lee famously declared, Washington was first in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen. Well said, Harry. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.